Hello everybody. Welcome to Nana's Keepsakes. Um, make sure when you guys come in you say hi. I think I'm like on like maybe a minute early. Um, I've been trying forever to get me up um, on my computer. Ooh, I got me up on my computer. Yay. So at least this way now I'll be able to see comments hopefully. And go ahead and say hi so I know you're here. I want to make sure that I can see my comments. Hopefully they'll... Okay, Julie, I can see you. Hey. So I got it up on my computer now. Um, now I'm just trying to see if I can see the comments on my computer. But maybe not. All right. So welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Kim. I'll turn the camera a little bit so you guys can see me. My name is Kim, and I am the owner and creator of Nana's Keepsakes. Um, I am off on Fridays now, so I figured since I'm off, I'll start doing lives, hopefully every single week, as long as nothing um, is going on. Um, so today I wanted to bring to you guys, because... I know. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Suzanne. Um, it's kind of been in the archives. I haven't seen very much of it. Um, is the lolly petal? So I thought it would be fun um, to do it. Hi, Kim. Um, and I wanted to showcase um, a center that I created. Um, this is a quilted star center. Um, it's four and a half or four inches. Excuse me. Hi, Kathy. Um, and so I thought it would look really cool in the center. Um, I did do this wreath in the Can-Am VIP, but I also wanted to come and uh, do another one um, for my followers so you guys can also see and also um, learn how to do the lolly pedal because I've heard so many say that they can never get the pedal um, to be the same, that they're all different sizes. So. I'm just going to give you a, a couple little tips that kind of helps me, and I hope that it will help you. If you have any questions along the way, obviously please ask. If I don't see it, maybe Julie will see it. She is my good friend and admin um, that assists me on my lives, and if we both miss it, ask again, okay? Don't be afraid. Ask as many times as you want. I want to make sure that you understand this. And today we are going to be using the small unique in the creek board. Um, I'll turn it around because it's a lot easier to see. I am going to be using um, all the rolls. So we're using one, two, three, and four. Um, on row one, I'm using the normal holes for a total of 16. On row two, I'm doing the shared holes, not the normal. That is also a total of 16. Roll three, I'm doing the normal hose, which is eight. And on roll four, I'm doing not only the normal hose, but also the share holes for another total of eight zip ties. Okay? I have my cheat sheet too, just in case I mess up. Um, we're going to be using a red a poly burlap also black poly burlap um i did check the uh, unique in the creek website because i do have an affiliate link um, both colors are in stock they are 10.95 a roll um so and they also have the small small boards which are four dollars and 55 cents so up at the top of my page go ahead and use my affiliate link make sure you use five off five off um i guess i didn't write that note down and you get five percent off your boards okay so this is so for row one i'm using actually black poly burlap but it is so hard to for you guys to see it so i'm going to show how to do the pedal on it with the red poly burlap so let me kind of turn my camera a little bit All my mesh has been cut 
10 by 10. Um, I did wood, wood burn it, even though you're not going to see any of the edges. That's just a habit I've gotten into um, just by wood burning. So once again, it's always curl side up. I am going to put it into a diamond shape. For me, since I'm left-handed, I always have my left factory edge at my top and down at the bottom on my right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my top and I'm just going to bring it down to the bottom just like this and just kind of make that nice little triangle, smooth it out. And then what I do is, hi Janine, thank you so much for coming, is I always mark my boards. And this kind of helps me to kind of guide how I want uh, the petal to look. So I just put a mark with a permanent marker because what I actually want to do is I want to have that imaginary line that goes from that corner all the way up to that fold. And I'm also too going to stretch it and then I'm going to pinch it just like that. I want to get a really nice pinch and make sure that it's pretty straight. Okay. Now I'm going to lay it back on the board because now what I got to do is I got to do something with these sides. And what I like to do is kind of bring them down. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just going to bring it down to where, just kind of fold, kind of roll it down to where it's about three quarters from the tip right here. And you can straighten everything out once we get the petal made. And now just bring, just kind of fold these sides down. And if it's not right when you're folding it, don't worry. You can always move it. So right now it looks kind of, looks kind of wonky. And that's okay. That's where I hold it in my hand. And I just pull the mesh up. So that way, here's my, my original tip. And then I want these to be kind of even at about three quarters. And then just kind of, if you see some of those, that raw edge, just kind of tuck it in. That's all you got to do. Just tuck that in just like that. And then you won't see it and then pinch it. And then just kind of shape it a little bit more. Does that make sense? And then what I do is I lay it on the board again. I make sure my tip is where I want it. And I probably will cut about three inches away. And I'll pinch at about four. Like that. So I'm going to cut it about here. And then I'm just going to take one of my rubber bands and I'm just going to rubber band the end. And now I can still maneuver that petal how I want it. Kind of shape it. So that way it's nice and round. Thank you, Tina. So now you got that nice pleat and you got those kind of, I don't know if you guys, when you look at this, it kind of reminds me of an alien. I don't know why I thought that, but it, it kind of does. So if I have the two eyes and, and the little nose or whatever, I know I got my petal right. I know that sounds so weird, but so let's do another one right away. And then we'll start getting um, some of these petals on the board so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay what it's actually going to look like. So again, my mesh is cut at 10 by 10. Hi, Pony. Curl side up. And this is Polly Burlap. Um, and Unique in a Creek does have the red and the black. I did see that this morning when I checked. So now I'm going to put it in the diamond shape. So that way I got my factory edge here and my factory edge here. You did see the alien? See, I told you. It sounds weird, but it really does help. 
So now I'm going to bring my top corner down to my bottom corner and just kind of press it out. And then I just, I mark my board because what I want to do is I want to take that, have that imaginary line that goes from that cor corner up to that fold. I'm going to stretch it and then I'm going to pinch it just like that. Hi, Brenda. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just, let's do this side first so you guys can kind of see it. I'm just going to kind of, kind of bring the sides down. And right now it's looking kind of weird because this is too long. I want it to be about three quarters of an inch from that corner, but we can fix it. And now we're just going to bring the other side down. So now I'm going to fix this. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to pull this side up. And I'm going to pull the other side up. And I'm going to tuck some of those edges in because we don't want to see those raw edges. So you can kind of see where my tips are getting shorter and I can, this one still isn't right. It's not very round. So I'm going to pull that up. And now I've got it a lot rounder. So I'm going to lay down my board, and so I'm going to cut off three inches from that bottom corner, and I'm going to, I'm going to pinch at four inches, but I'm going to cut it about here, and then I'm going to put my rubber band. Is it making sense so far, guys? And it's not going to matter what the back is going to look like. Now look. There's my front. And there's my back. Who cares what my back looks like? Because your back is going to be up against your board. Hi, Dorothy. And now look. My petals are pretty much the same, aren't they? And you can shape this if you wanted this to be a little bit more elongated. Make it elongated. If you want it to be a little bit more round, make it round. Whatever you want. That's the nice thing about the Poly Burlap. It does give you a little bit more play where you can kind of sh shape it. Thank you, Jean. I appreciate that, you guys. All right, so let's get some petals on the board. Like I said, I'm going to start with the black on the outside. I didn't want to try and demonstrate the black because it's very hard. Dorothy, I'll show you some more, okay? I have more mesh cut, so I will go through it again. So let's get the black on. Um, and again, I'm using row one, and I'm using all the, the normal holes. So that's a total of 16. Um, let's see, this right here, is my hanger hole. So I'm going to ignore that. And I'm just going to put my, my petal down. And you also want to make sure that when you're putting your petals on, that they're going to be, um, why is that looking not right? Here we go. Is that better? Can you guys see that better? How many rolls? Okay, so one roll of the black and one roll of the red. Um, the black is 28 pieces and the red is 24 pieces. Thank you, Tina. Do you keep your poly burlap in the safe right there? <laughs> no, I can't tell you what's in there. <laughs> We're on Facebook, remember? 
I'm actually in my husband's um, office. Okay, so now when I put my next one in, I want to make sure that my petals are going to line up. Hi, Michelle. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome, Dorothy. Don't worry, Dorothy. I'll make sure you know how to do it. I got your back, girlfriend. My zip tie gun. <laughs> I have it. So again, we're putting the black just on the outside. So that's a total of 16 petals on row one. That's what I like about making these um, ahead of time, because then all you gotta do is just put them into the board. And I find that sometimes when you make your petals all at once. You got your first board. Well, congratulations. You definitely need to start trying something on a large board. But I was, like I was saying, Oh, I've used, um, for this type of petal, I would say it would work fine for the horizontal. Um, you can even use it with the, the deco mesh. It would work fine because it's a, a double layer. Might be a little see-through with the deco. You'd have to try it, but I don't see why not. That's large. Yeah, I mean... Right now, I'm at, I'm at 20 inches, so that's not bad at all. Okay, we just have a few more, and then I can cut the zip ties, and you guys can see what the first row looks like. So even though it's a small, um, unique in a creek board, I mean, it still, you know, comes out with a pretty nice size, um, flower wreath and that's probably because you're using you know row one to start with all right two more Yeah, I know. I wish um, Hobby Lobby would have had the small boards in it, too. I mean, I like the, you know, the large boards, but that does, number one, it takes, the large boards are probably really good for doing the Dean Michael. Um, they make such a pretty uh, flower wreath. But something like this, oh, yay. You'd be using a lot of mesh for a large board. Okay. I have to fix that. Oh, maybe I'll just cut it. All right. So this is what we have so far. This is row one. What petal would be the best? Mm. Um, if you're going to do the D. Michael petal, um, 
I would definitely, definitely recommend, hi Susan, I would recommend buying the horizontal wide stripe and I'll tell you why. Hi Carol, thank you so much for coming. Is because the horizontal wide stripe mesh does not fray like poly burlap. And the Dean Michael petal makes such a beautiful uh, sunflower wreath. Personally, I've never done a Dean Michael. Um, I'm going to attempt one, but that's what I would recommend. It would be very easy. Just remember when you do, you know, when you do your point, I would clip your tip. So that way you've got a nice, perfect tip. And Julie, I think we should put that on the calendar that we should do a D. Michael wreath soon. All right, so so that now we're gonna go into row two. And for my row two, um, I'm gonna do it with the, the red, but let's show how to do the petal again for some people who have uh, come in. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing and easy. That's what I've heard. Um, it's just that, you know, using the um, the poly burlap, you have to be so careful making sure that it's not going to, to fray. That's the only issue that I have with it. Hi, Jacqueline. Say, thanks so much for coming. And Unique in a Creek has so many different colors of the horizontal wide stripe. So you can definitely get it there. All right, again, all my mesh is cut at 10 by 10. I do use a wood burner to kind of help prevent some of the fraying. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it somewhat helps. So now we're gonna turn it into a diamond shape. So I've got my factory edge to my left and my factory edge to my right bottom. I'm going to bring my top down to my bottom and I'm just going to smooth it out. I mark my grid because what I wanted, my whole reason of marking my grid is, is that I wanted to make sure I have that imaginary line because that's where I'm going to pinch it to get a really nice fold. So I'm going to stretch my mesh and then I'm going to pinch it just like that. Okay. Hi, Pam. You used the horizontal and it worked really good, Kim, right? All right. So now I'm going to take my, because right now you've got kind of like the, whatever you want to call it, the stingray or whatever. We need to do something with these sides. So what we need to do is we need to bring these sides down, but we don't want to bring them all the way down to the tip. We want to bring them down about three quarters of the way. And the easiest way that I found is just to kind of grab it and just kind of fold it, fold it down and kind of tuck that mesh in. So it looks like that. See, Janine, see? What would you say sells the most? The horizontal or the poly burlap? And now we're going to do the same on the other side. We're just going to bring that side, just kind of tuck that mesh in and bring that side down. So it looks kind of wonky right now. That's okay. We're going to fix it. And how we're going to do that is you're going to hold it in your hand like this, and you're just going to pull up. On both sides because what you're doing is you're trying to get that petal formed and you want to make sure you tuck this stuff towards the back we don't want to see that we want it to be tucked in nice and pretty okay and we want to make sure we still keep that that center pleat or whatever you want to call and now I'm just going to lay it on the board because then I have better control. Making sure that everything gets tucked in.
Use your board. Your board can be your best friend when you're trying to form these, okay? So it's still looking kind of wonky for me. I'm not liking the way it's looking. So I'm just going to keep shaping it until I get that look. And then I'm going to pinch it at about from my bottom corner to about four inches. That's where I'm going to pinch it because I want to cut it about three inches off. And that's where I'm going to rubber band it. Thank you, Pam. Appreciate that. Okay, so now we can really, once we have it rubber band, kind of make sure everything is tucked in nicely. And kind of get that, that round shape. Get that alien looking face. There you go. And there's your alien. That's what it reminds me of anyways. All right, so let's do another one. We're gonna put it in a, a triangle again. I'm gonna bring the corner down. I'm just gonna flatten it out and then I'm gonna turn it sideways and work sideways. Okay? And then I'm gonna stretch it and then I'm gonna pleat it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna bring this corner down And I'm going to bring the other corner, just kind of tuck in it. Just like that. And then I just want to make sure that it's about, you know, three quarters. This side's a little bit lower. And then I'm just kind of tucking that in a little bit, my raw edges. And there it is. Lay it back down on your board. And I'm going to pinch it and cut it. I pinch it at about four inches and I rubber band it at about three. Does that make sense? And then now you can kind of kind of form your petal a little bit more to kind of get that that nice little round shape. Okay, so let's get some petals on the board. Again, we're going on to row 2. And these are going in the shared holes, not the normal holes. So you'll see your normal holes, and then there'll be two shared. So there's two together, two sets of two for a total of 16 petals in this one. So I just want to kind of... Now, it's going to seem weird because on this roll, it's going to almost look like your petals are oblong because you're buttoning them up together. That's okay. Because my whole goal is, is that I'm trying to get the red petal to come up in between the two blacks. Can you kind of see that? And I'm still making sure that my petals are even as we're going. Whoa. So 
So again, 16 on row two. Just going around, just making sure that the red petals is kind of going in between the black ones that I have on um, row one. Anybody have any questions so far? Again, we're using um, the small flower board. I'm using um, all four rows, rows one, two, three, and four. Um, let's see here. Gotta bring my cheat sheet. So on row one, I'm using 16 of the black petals and all of the mesh is poly burlap cut at 10 by 10. I wood burned it. Whoa. Sometimes that happens. I pulled on my petal too much. Thank you, Dorothy. I just want to make sure you guys understand it because I've heard a couple people say that they can never get the, the lolly petal to be the same, um, that they're all different uh, sizes. If for some reason, let's just say you're using poly burlap, I mean, using something other than poly burlap, like um, using a uh, poly deco mesh. And you're finding, especially when you go to row two, because the shared holes are, are a little bit wider than your normal holes. So say you put your petal in there and you're noticing that it just seems like the zip tie is not going to hold your petal. Don't be afraid to um, put a spot of glue. It's going to be okay. I promise you. Put a little bit of glue over your zip tie and you won't have to worry about that petal pulling out. Okay. Cause that's always one thing I worry about that when somebody, you know, say they grab your wreath and they grab it by the petal and that petal falls out and then all of a sudden they're, you know, calling you and complaining, Hey, your wreath fell apart. If you're using something other than the deck, the poly burlap, Again, don't be afraid to put a little bit of glue. They'll hold it and secure it um, in those zip ties, especially on row two, okay? All right, we just have a few more and then we can go into row three. And um, row two is about the only one that you're gonna notice. Thanks, Kim, um, that there may be an issue with the uh, with the mesh because of the fact that we're using shared holes and not um, the normal holes. Almost done. And then we can get the zip ties cut and we'll go into row three.
All right. Last zip tie on that roll. And this is where we're at right now. All right, so now we're gonna go into row two. Again, those are um, the lolly petals again. Uh, row three, sorry, row, it's row three. It's gonna be a total of eight petals. So curl side up. My mesh is cut at 10 by 10. I'm gonna bring the corner down to the other corner and I'm just gonna smooth it out. Turn it sideways. Use your grid on your mat, mark it. It helps. So let's see here, where do I wanna put it? And now I'm gonna put my finger on the corner and the fold, I'm just gonna stretch it and now I'm gonna pinch it, okay? And then I'm going to, let's see here. Let me think about this. So now I'm gonna bring these sides down and wait, let's see, let me hold this differently so you can see that, like that. I want it to be about three quarters of the way. So I'm gonna just kinda, kinda roll it down and then I'm gonna kinda roll this one down. Does that make sense? And then I want to bring this one up a little bit. And then I'm going to cut about, I think I'm going to cut about three inches off. So I'm going to cut this much off and then put my rubber band. And now I can shape it even a little bit more. Get that roundness. I can get it to be a little bit flatter. Whatever I want it to do. Make sure that stuff is tucked in. Those raw edges, you're not going to see it. So let's put the last eight on row three. And those are going in the normal holes. And these you will notice, they are going in between the two red. Any questions, guys? So I'm just going, putting eight petals on roll three and the normal holes. And I'm still trying to make sure this is where I can kind of pull my petals apart because I still want them to butt. But, but. So that way they kind of fill in the, you know, the space. And let's see, we got one more.
Hi, Vicki. Welcome. Just tightening this up. Let's get the zip ties cut. didn't want to cut. You guys ever notice sometimes the zip tie guns don't want to cut the zip ties all the way down? Okay. Thank you, Dottie. Yeah, you could, but that's that would be a lot of work. A lot of zip ties you'd be going through too. So this is where we're at. Rows one, two, and three. And now the last that we're going to do is the, I'm gonna put the Star Trek in the middle. Um, I saved one piece of mesh. Was it Dottie? No, Vicki that came in. Um, for doing the Star Trek, and even though I cut this, let me see if I can kind of explain. Might be a little hard, but I'll do my best. So normally, no, we can't do that. Never mind. We'll do it this way. Thank you, Pam. So it's a 10 by 10 piece of um, poly burlap. It's uh, wood burn. You put it in your uh, diamond shape, bring your corner down to your corner, okay? Smooth it out, and then I always bring it sideways, and then I stretch it, and I pinch it, because I want it to have that imaginary line, all right? And then what I want to do is I need to bring these sides down to meet this bottom corner, but I want it to come about three quarters of an inch from that bottom corner. And so basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of bring the, those sides in real quick like that. So it looks like a stingray. And then I'm just gonna like fold these down like that. I'm hoping that that would help better for you guys to understand that on how to bring that, that down. That makes sense so far. And then what I'm gonna do, oops, my, I'm just gonna kinda, there, like that. I know that one is looking a little bit funky, so let me pull it up. There, like that. Okay, and then what I normally do is I cut about three inches off and then I rubber band at about four. Okay, I hope that helped, Vicki. And then you can kind of shape it however you want. Now for the Star Trek pedal, um, we always do it in the, in the diamond and then we bring the other edge over. See, even when you wood burn, you always still have some raveling. So now you got this kind of like a double diamond and you're gonna kind of pull it like this. So it kind of looks like that star track. And then what I do is kind of grab it in the middle and then bring my sides over. And then, like that, I push it. 
And that's how I make my Star Trek. And then from there, where you can kind of see that, that mess there, that's where I'm going to cut it, is right there. And rubber band it. Good. I'm glad that helped Vicki. So there's your Star Trek. Okay. Now, when I originally did this wreath in the Cam Am VIP group, I only made eight petals. But I had an issue. It didn't cover the it did not cover all of this so I went back in and I made an additional four and what I did so let me turn this over so you guys can see it so in the center you always have the your shared and then you have your normal holes which is real skinny so in my normal holes I'm gonna put one Star Trek but in my shared holes I'm going to put two. Okay? I'm going to teach you a little secret that I do. So when I have to put two Star Trek petals in the same hole, I make bunny ears. I rubber band them together. It makes my life a lot easier. That way I'm not trying to push in two petals into the same zip tie and try and zip tie those buggers and make sure that they stay even. It'll make your life so much easier. Okay, so let's get this, get the Star Treks in the center. Again, wherever I have my, my normal holes, I'm just gonna put one, one Star Trek. And that's going to go in between these two petals right here. Now in my shared, which is next, where I'm going to put my bunny ears. And I still want to make sure that my tips are all lining up. It works for me because I've seen people where they struggle trying to get two petals in the same zip tie again two in the shared hole And it's covering up my bare spots that I saw. And sometimes you just have to do that. Just, you know, when you're working on something like this. Thanks, guys. Sometimes you just have to kind of lay the petals on the board. And if you think you're going to see bare spots, there's always a way to, to you know, to, to come up with an idea to cover it, whether it could be smaller petals or it could be, you know, and they stay side by side. Exactly. Absolutely. I don't share that trick with everybody. Just so you guys know, you guys are my faves. You're my peeps. I mean, look at how that looks so far. So now we need to do the two and they stay side. Yep. Hi, Nancy. Thank, well, thank you for coming. Yep. I'm going to try and, and start going um, on Friday morning since I'm off of work. 
um, until Labor Day. I needed a break. You guys, I got lots of ideas. I don't sleep at night. Yes, I'm using one roll or one, yeah, one roll of black and one roll of red of the poly burlap. Um, the black took uh, 28 petals or pieces and the red took 24. And uh, Unique in the Creek has both. They have the red and the black poly burlap um, along with uh, the small Unique in the Creek board. Um, if you guys need boards, you can use my affiliate link because I love using Unique in the Creek boards. They make my life easier, as you can see. Don't get me wrong, I do like still using my wire wreath frames, but um, doing something like this where I can really be precise on my pillows, or petals, sorry. You're very welcome. All we have left, once I get the ties cut, is adding the center. Yes. Yeah, especially for making uh, petal wreaths, I think the boards are um, a, a very awesome tool. Okay, so this is what we have. So you can see by me asking, adding that extra star track that it really covered those petals on roll three see and you can still fit this in between a door it's really not that thick okay so now we're going to add the center and again this is a center that i created um, it is the um, quilted star uh, center, and it's got little ladybugs on it. What would I sell? The wreath or the center? Because, hold on a second. I did come up with, um, I would sell this wreath for 65 including the center. And what I'm doing in my Etsy shop, if you were to buy this wreath, you'll get 15% off. And then for the center, is 12. Thank you. And the only reason, you know, why it would be a little bit more too is because, as we all know, poly burlap is a little bit higher in price. So I'm going to use my wonderful little yarn needles. Um, the nice thing about the boards that Lori went and did is that she had two holes made so that you can put your center in. So that is where I'm going to put my center is through those two holes. Let me find the top of my wreath, okay, which is right there. So I'm just gonna stick my needles in the holes. The only reason why I won't do a, a tutorial on the centers is number one, I am in a group. Um, it's called um, My Girl Ornament, I believe. I just got into their group. It's a paid tutorial. And these patterns to make these ornaments, I pay for them. 
Now, they, of course, they make ornaments, and what I did with it is I went and designed um, the centers. I haven't seen anybody do a center, so I've had to do a lot of measuring. The Ornament Girl Group. Thank you, Julie. You're the best. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and I'm going to twist it in the back. And I just twist. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, I just got into their, their group. They only have so much space, and so, um, I was invited to get in and then any patterns that they um, show, I've had to buy. Okay, and then the nice thing about these boards is that once you're done, obviously you have a nice clean back. I tuck the zip tie or the uh, pipe cleaner back in and then this is where I would put my business card, glue it on there. If it was a sticker or whatever, that way, Whoever buys your wreath next year when they're looking to say, oh, I know I bought that wreath, but I don't remember. Bam. Now they got your information on the back of the wreath that they bought. And this is what we have. Thank you. And again, I will be list listing this in my shop. Um, the code will be 15% uh, off on this wreath. And I'll have it go for, um, I think, until like midnight or something like that. And then it'll just be normal price plus shipping. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, guys. Again, Polly Burlap, the red and the black. Unique in a Creek has it. These are the Lolly Petals, Star Trek Petal. On a small, unique in a creek board, my affiliate link is listed at the top of the page. Um, if you have any additional questions, obviously shoot me a message and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, other than that, thank you, thank you guys, appreciate that. All right, if there's no other questions, I am going to let you guys enjoy your day. It's hot here, it's gonna be up at almost 90, so I'm gonna try and get some cleaning done before it gets way too hot. Thank you very much for coming, and I appreciate your support. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, okay? Thank you so much, bye.